What have you done in his life? I've taken him away. You've taken him away from what? From God. Taking him away from God. Who are you? What is your name? Speak out. Uh, we're too strong. What is your name? You have a name. Speak out in Jesus' mighty name. We're too many. You're too many. Uh, Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. How, how did you enter his life? Uh, he opened the door for us. How did he open the door? You don't need to know anything. You have no right. You came to Arena of Liberty and you will speak out right now in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. How did you enter his life? Huh? How did, which door did he open? He made a pact with the devil. He made a pact with the devil. Speak out in Jesus' mighty name. How did you destroy his life? He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. How did you destroy his finances? What kind of pact did he make with you? Shut up. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. You will speak right now in Jesus' name. How long, how long ago did he make that pack? Five years ago. Five years ago. What kind of pack was it? What, what was it for? He, he wanted to be happy. He wanted to be happy, so he made a pack with you. Yes. He wanted power. How, how many of you are in there? We are a legion. You are a legion. You, have, you made the greatest mistake to, to step into arena of liberty. Jesus Christ is more than you and you will go right now. This is my soul. He's not. Jesus Christ has paid the ultimate price for his body. And you will go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. Anywhere that you are, you demon and your legions, we command you to come out in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. Come on. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. 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 Do you, do you know what happened with here right now? I don't know. You don't know? Are you the one to say that, uh, that you're a legion? No. No? You're not legion? Can you tell us uh, what happened about uh, five years ago? There was a, there was a pact made with, uh, with the devil. Can you, do you know? Do you recall anything like that? Yeah, I do remember. So what, can you tell us more what happened? I don't know. I guess it was a period when I was just um, depressed and like really I felt like... Speak, speak louder. <clears throat> like there was a time when I felt like really depressed and lonely and... I felt that God wasn't answering me or anything, so I just went, to, I guess, to a cemetery. It was like around midnight or so, and I asked the devil if that he could come in me and if he could give me happiness, and I, I, I wouldn't, so I wouldn't feel lonely, and yeah. So since then, since then, what happened? How has your life been affected by that? <clears throat> well, did you was, receive happiness? They, 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 well, for a period, for like a while, I, I felt like good, but then there's times where at night I would like see like stuff moving around my, my room and well I thought it was normal and like there's time I would just like <clears throat> I would be awake until like three in the morning of war like I'll sleep all day but when I would open like the window I could like hear stuff walking around and I could like I would see many demonic stuff but I thought uh, I just really didn't care I thought it was like oh it's just something that I'm imagining okay but, yeah and uh, after this prayer right now how are you feeling now <laughs> I feel like, like I'm somewhere. Like if I just came out, came back to life, and wow, yeah. because of Christ, we declare you free right now in Jesus' mighty name. We welcome you here to the Anointing Water Prayer Line. Can you please begin with telling us your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Alexis, and I'm from Pasco. And Alexis, can you please tell us what has brought you here to receive prayer at the Anointing Water Prayer Line? Just the fact that. Um, before all this happened, um, God um, has had a calling for me, and my and what He wanted me to do was to to lead the worship team and to be able to play music for Him. And, Lex and Lexis, can you please tell us what has brought you to receive prayer at the Anointing Water Prayer Line? The 
like many things happen in our house like just sometimes things just didn't seem the same and there's times where i would like get mad and notice that i just got far away from god and i really needed to i just really needed to get close back and closer back with god and and this sounded like a good idea to just start up all over again can you tell us what happened to you when you received prayer at the anointing water prayer line well after it i just felt really i just feel really happy and like i feel like i have more energy and i just feel really joyful and, and can t can you tell us was it you that was saying that you were a legion and you were screaming and fighting the people back when they were praying for you was that you or the evil spirit i'm pretty sure it was the evil spirit because i don't remember anything and can you tell us how did this problem start uh that evil spirit in you mentioned that you made a pact with the devil five years ago. Can you please uh, go into details in regards to that? What all started when uh, there was a time in my life where I was just like depressed and I like I knew like my mom had talked to me about the the fact that my dad left us when we were young, so I just I decided to just be depressed and sad all the time. And well, I just needed something to be happy. Like I would call to call to God and ask him like what what do i do like make me feel happy and but i felt like he wasn't answering none of my questions so i just went to cemetery i was like mad and i was like you know what that will if you, if you can make me happy and give me power i'll let you do whatever you want with me you you, ha you ha the doors are open for you and that's when it all started and after you made that pact with the devil at the cemetery, can you tell us what happened? Did you receive happiness? How did your life get affected by this pact with the devil? Well, happiness, it, all, uh, it lasted for a little bit, but there, like it was like on and off. There was times where I was like, all right, I feel good. And there's times where I was like, oh, shoot, what's happening? Like I would see like many darks, like things moving around in the house. I would hear stuff. And like there's times I would go on walks at three in the morning. I feel like somebody's walking next to me, but there was no one. And it was just like something that at first it was scary, but then I kind of got used to it. And it was like, oh, you know what? This is getting normal. And uh, after time ha um, passed by, I just, you know, I just faded away. <coughs> and after you received prayer, do you believe that you truly received freedom this uh, at the prayer line? Yeah, I do. How do you feel now? I feel happy and very joyful and I, f I feel like I'm closer to God. And That's amazing. Praise God. We, we encourage you to walk with God and to continue in your commitment to Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>